to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are ready to get all the summer vibes and all the summer inspiration, then this video is for you. It's going to be a little bit of a vlog style and we will be doing a little DIY raised garden bed to grow veggies for this summer. But before we get started, if you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Olivia, and here on my channel, I like to create all sorts of feel-good content, just plan out good for the soul. So if that interests you, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button down below. But anyways, yes, I am in the TJ Maxx parking lot right now. As I just got done with Goodwill, I found a couple little goodies. And then I also found some two really neat retro, like retro rattan rolling desk chairs. And I think I might incorporate that in the uh, kitchen makeover video. That's not what today is going to be about. Um, but my main goal today is to do a raised garden bed and not necessarily a raised garden bed where you like make a box out of uh out of two by fours and planks of wood, I'm wanting to do a really neat eclectic spot style garden bed where each plant or each vegetable plant is in a different container. So we are on the hunt today. We're gonna stop at probably Lowe's and we'll probably stop at Walmart for probably more affordable deals. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for this video for that. But anyways, I figure I should just bring you along as we're doing lots of shopping, like I said, thrifting. We're at TJ Maxx right now. I'm gonna do Mother's Day shopping. Also find some planter pots for my little raised backyard garden or patio garden, honestly. That's what this is gonna be, is a patio garden video. Uh, just getting the outside ready for summertime. And then of course, we're gonna run over to uh, Lowe's, see what they have, and then probably most likely get most of our stuff from Walmart because it's a lot cheaper over there and you guys know I'm a girl on a budget and if you are on a budget and you want to learn how to thrift your home transfer your home using secondhand decor in 2023 then this channel's for you because that is my goal and that is it's also my goal to inspire you guys to do that as well but anyways we are going to run in to uh, TJ Maxx, do a little bit of shopping, a little TLC, uh, and yeah, do all things good for the soul today, and I just want to bring you guys along with me. I just have to show you my shoes really quick. I found these uh, Chuck or platform Chuck Taylors at Goodwill, and they didn't have any laces, which is why they got rid of them, but I got these sparkly laces off of Amazon, and then I'll probably show you guys later, but I got brand new pants from Zara that fit like a glove. But anyways, oh, and then also my bag is from uh, Amazon as well. Those are the amazing chairs that I found. Okay, I gotta close this up. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight. Alrighty, you guys, it is currently the next day. I have my little sun hat on because we are working outside. We are vamping up the front porch for spring. And I'm also bringing my little DIY raised garden bed into this area as well as sort of over here, it gets a lot of sun pretty much six plus hours out of the day so i'm really excited to give you guys some ideas on how to easily and affordably just spruce up your outdoor area 
So anyways, we have a slew of goodies, as you can tell. I have an assortment of little plants to grow veggies. I have some flowers, some ivy. As you can tell, I have two big urns. And I also have an assortment of different terracotta pots, and that's what we'll be using as the raised garden bed. Anyways, I found this little cutie at TJ Maxx, and it was originally for $50 and I got it on sale for $25 so I decided that I definitely <laughs> maybe not necessarily needed it but I definitely wanted it so we are definitely going to create just a collage of all things beautiful a mix of the vegetable plants and a mix of the flowers that I have as well and it's going to turn out so so cute and I think that this idea is going to be especially awesome if you live in an apartment and maybe you have a balcony patio that's really small I think sometimes we forget that we can build our gardens up and I think especially if you want to create an accent wall or a privacy fence in your back patio or in your garden or in your yard you can definitely hang plants off of off of that privacy fence or you know grow plants you can have a collage of pots right, anyways i am so excited to start the gardening process but before we do that i definitely have to give the front porch a good old clean sort of just nicely frames in this whole area and I love how I have this little outdoor rug um if I haven't already explained a little bit about it I found it for five dollars at my neighborhood's garage sale and I absolutely love the green <laughs> the green color is what really drew me into purchasing this rug and of course the price tag it was super cheap uh, I love the vibrant blues I'm not normally like a blue person but I think that it's really fun and just it's a beautiful rug. It's from World Market, so we all know that this definitely was a much more expensive rug originally, and it's in great condition. And the awesome thing, it perfectly fits both my rocking chairs. It's about the same width of this window, so it just perfectly frames in this whole space. And we have a very long and narrow front porch that's just a concrete slab so that's sort of a great way to sort of make your seating area more cozy is by adding a rug. I think it's a really great way to differentiate the seating area between the walkway into the through the front door into the home uh, sort of keeping those two separate and I think that this fern it just you guys it just adds so much visual interest and it's just so cute and I cannot wait for it to get nice long full and healthy now that it's finally outside and it's going to get a lot more moisture and and shade <laughs> Alrighty, you guys had to show you that super cute clip of butter she's just so sweet and so adorable but anyways i am so excited to have found these beautiful large ferns and i will be sure to leave all the plants actual names in the description below and this fern i've never purchased it before or had it in my garden before but it looks so magical and whimsical i love the different types of like the texture of the leaves is a lot different from the typical ferns that i get every summer but the name is the kimberly queen and again, I'll leave all the names in the description below. But yes, this just reminds me of a magical forest. And I'm putting them in my two matching urns that I found on sale for $40 at Home Goods. Adding in my mat. This is our happy place. I've had that. This is its second summer. And yeah, we're just keeping it the same, keeping it very simple. 
Alrighty, guys, so we are moving on to the most fun part, which is actually putting all the plants into the pots. As you can tell, I have some tomato plants, I have a sweet pepper, I have some herbs, so basil and lavender. You guys, I really recommend you getting lavender. This is the first time, this is the first summer I have purchased lavender, but I... Every time I go on my walk in the summertime, this one neighbor has this large lavender plant that comes back each year. And it's right by the sidewalk, so I just brush my hand up against its flowers. I know I probably shouldn't do that because it's not mine, but I always just brush it up. Or sometimes I'll take one, I'll just pick a little flower off, a little stem off, and I will actually rub it on my clothes. And you have the most beautiful floral lavender fragrance it's just so magical and so i'm so glad to have found of my or to have my own lavender plant so i don't have to steal the neighbors <laughs> anyway so i really recommend if you get any any herb definitely get you some lavender and i also love basil for all of the summer cooking are all of my beautiful vegetables herbs and flowers i really recommend bringing in some flowers into your garden as it brings that pop of color and it just it just makes me so happy and it's definitely a very cottagey vibe when you do that and don't forget that you can build your garden up don't be afraid to you know mount containers on your privacy wall or on your fence and if in this idea right here with this tiered garden stand you know if you have if you're in an apartment complex and maybe you have a little patio you can totally do this and it saves so much space and i think it's so so cute the little DIY garden bed is basically complete. I do have one last finishing touch and it is also a super easy and affordable DIY. It will maybe cost you a dollar or two and that is creating your own little labels. So what you'll need are some sort of clothespin or probably a little bit better is a popsicle stick um, but I just have these on hand and I think that they'll be just as cute and they'll get the job done and of course you're going to need some sort of black marker black sharpie and I'm definitely going to do this later is I'm going to take some clear rust-oleum spray um, or spray mod podge something that can just help keep these from rotting especially because you'll be watering them and most and these are going to be out in the rain and out in the elements so we have one done and i just wrote lavender you can write it sideways like this or you can write it up and down and it's just going to be super cute and super aesthetic <laughs> It's Indy 500 month. This is my second year that I'll be attending. And if you do not know, or if you're new here, I am a proud Indiana Hoosier born and raised. So we gotta bring my Indy 500 pride to the front porch. But anyways, we are doing the tour right now. 
um, this beautiful plant right here that is a limelight hydrangea and here in a few years it will be full grown and it will add so many blooms to my front porch but it will also act as a privacy bush as it's probably going to get to five to eight feet big so i'm super excited for that but anyways i'll let you guys enjoy and i'll catch up with you here at the end but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did and if you did please be sure to give it a, a big thumbs up and if you want to get more thrifty and affordable ways to decorate your home ideas on how to decorate your home for this summer then you definitely want to follow my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Olivia Effie where I share outfit of the days and daily motivation sprinkled throughout but anyways all in all, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I cannot wait to hear what you guys will be doing in your garden for this summer of 2023. But anyways, remember that every day is a new opportunity to leave someone better than you found them. Bye guys! I think that gardening can teach us a lot about life. Not only is it so good for the soul as you are grounding yourself with nature and to the sun and with the earth, but I think gardening, again, can teach us so many life lessons as we have to make sure that the soil and the foundation for the plants is nice and strong as we add fertilizer throughout the season and as we have to water it on a regular basis, just like life, you know, we have to make sure that we are doing good things for our soul, that we are nourishing ourselves, whether that's through eating healthy foods, exercising, spending time with good people that you love, friends and family, good conversation. And as we also pick the weeds in our gardens you know the weeds aren't good for the plants it takes it takes away the nutrients from the actual flowers and vegetables that we want to grow and just like life you know we have to pull the weeds pull the things out of our life that are not serving us and also remember that we have to trim away the dead flowers so that more new beautiful flowers may grow in its place we are in spring and summer is fast approaching. I think it's a good time to start thinking about what things in our lives that are not serving us and what we need to trim away so that new beautiful flowers may grow. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.